Hey y'all, welcome to 37 Questions with Association International School, class of 2024. Let's go. Hey Gabby. Hi, I need to ask you a question. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about your experience in AIS? Definitely the friendships I meet along the way, okay. including the close bonds with my classmates, shared experiences, and inside jokes. Love that. Thank All you. right. Kofi, wait up. I need to ask you a question. Okay, Mr. Kofi, describe your journey in AIS in three words. Of oh, transforming, impactful, and enriching. Oh, love that. Hey, Imani. Hi, Zoe. Okay, quick question. What experience has had the biggest impact on you? I think definitely our trip last year to Kabanasa because I was able to experience a village lifestyle. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Hello, Mr. Kwabena. Hi, Zoe. All right. What's the most memorable moment from your time in AIS? Yeah, I think it'll be the time where I was the MC for the 2023 Give Us Dinner. It was yeah, a good one. Yeah, you are a great partner. Okay. Hey, Jacob. Hi, Zoe. How you doing? I'm fine. Great. What advice would you give to future DPs? They shouldn't procrastinate because that could end their IB careers. And if they don't need a particular subject, they shouldn't do it. I agree. Yes. Hey, Ms. Beruna. Hey, Mr. Suman. Okay. Yeah. Okay, one question. Mm -hmm. What's the best piece of advice you've received during your time in AIS? So, chem students are going to get this. Okay. A slap that is inevitably yours when earlier encountered hey, saves you from torrential what hostilities, Mr. Kuma. All right. <laughs> yeah. Those who get it, get, get it. it. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Daisy. Hello. All right. Tell me something. What's something you'd wish you had done differently during your time in AIS? Well, I wish I had been more intentional about my planning and time usage, because you no, know, Ivy can be really stressful and a good plan makes it a lot easier. 100%, agree. Hello, Mr. Ayako. Okay, who has been your biggest inspiration throughout your years in AIS? Well, I have three big inspirations. Okay. Kofi Basa, Brian Echampong, and Orisha Malosu. They've been really good to me, and I miss them so much. Aww. Yeah, they were really nice. Hello, beautiful Grace. How are you? Good. One question for you. What is the biggest lesson you've learned about yourself? Well, I would say accepting my imperfections. Oh, yeah. Love that. Love that. All right. 37 questions with Association International Schools class of 2024. Albert, what's the most important lesson you've learned from a failure? Um, to consistently reflect and overcome. Mm, definitely. Thank you, Albert. Hi, Prince Jamie. What's a song that reminds you of your time in AIS? Um, I'll have to go with So So by Omale. So So by Omale. Why is So So Prince? Um, it really captures AIS atmosphere. Mm. That's quite interesting. And Kasimo, how are you doing today? I'm good, how about you? I'm good, thank you. Kasimo, what's your favorite school memory outside of the classroom? My favorite? Uh, it'd probably be the Friday freestyles. You know, we turn, we cutting up. It's just really fun, so mm -hmm. I think that'd be mm -hmm. good. Thank you, Kasim. Yeah, appreciate it. And Montel, what's the most underrated aspect of life in AIS? Um, I'd have to say how helpful the teachers are, because I find them to be really approachable and that you can even go to them outside of normal classes and be able to get more help in your study. Oh, definitely. Forever grateful for our teachers. And Kwesi Mansa, if you could redo one woman from AIS, what would it be? Not have taken that penalty against the <laughs> Definitely. Okay, thank you, Kwesi. And now, Sam. What's the most overrated aspect of life in AIS? Um, I think the football team is pretty overrated. They think they're good, but they're they are not that good. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. And Zane. What's the best piece of advice you received from a teacher? Uh, honestly, it's that, uh, it's that it's not just about the education. It's about applying it so that once you get out of here, you make sure that you make, sure that you make a difference. Mm. And not just that, but mm -hmm. also but also people make sure that you know you made that difference. Yeah, so, so, so impactful. Thank you so much, Zane. Hi, Yvonne and Brian. How are you guys doing today? That's so lovely. Now, Yvonne, what's the most important thing you learned about friendship in AIS? Um, for my journey in AIS, I think my friends have been my greatest motivators and I wouldn't have done it without them. That's so sweet. People like Brian, you know, they've always been there for me in hard times and all. But then again, 
you buy a cobra, <laughs> so watch out for vipers. You buy a you cobra. Know? <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you, Ivan. Now, Brian, what's the most meaningful conversation you had in AIS? Hmm. It'll, be, it'll definitely be when a classmate told me that God is able to enable the unable. Hmm. Mm. Wise words, wise words. Thank you so much, Brian. And now, Elizabeth, what's the misconception people have about AIs that you would like to debunk? Oh, I hear people say we absolutely suck at sports, but guess what? What's Elizabeth? Our girls' junior basketball team just won their matches oh, against yeah. Ace yeah. and <laughs> Christian. Hi! Thank you, Elizabeth. And hi, Sharon. Oh, wow, you look so pretty today. You. You're most welcome. Sharon, what's the most valuable piece of advice you'd give to yourself in DP1? I would advise myself to prioritize time management and to finish all my IAs in mm, mm, Definitely, finish your IAs early. And now, Onela, what's something you miss the most about AIS? Definitely the lunch. Like, AIS lunch is top, top tier. And yeah, I really miss that, especially the fufu. That's lovely. Makeda, what's your favorite spot in the school? The benches. The benches. So much has happened in the benches. Thank you, Makeda. Yeah. Tilly, who was your favorite teacher and why? Um, I feel like I had a lot of really nice teachers, but if I had to pick one, I'll say Miss Linda because she was really relatable and I feel like I could easily speak to her about my problems and I really liked her, so I'll say Miss Linda. Hi Susan. Hi Janelle. How's your day been? It's been alright so far. That's nice. Susan, what's the most challenging obstacle you faced in school and how exactly did you overcome it? I would say completing my IAs and E before the deadline. The never ending corrections were tiring and it felt like I was never going to finish, but a couple of all-nighters did the trick. Mm, you, you definitely persevered. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Janelle. Hi, Shama. Hi, Janelle. How's your day been? It's been all right, thank you. That's lovely. Shama, what's something you discovered about yourself during DP that you were not aware of before? It would have to be my, um, my enjoyment of work. I think recently I found myself completing projects and building my portfolio instead of doing stuff like playing games. Oh, wow. That's, that's really lovely to hear. That's, that's quite interesting. Thank you, Shama. You're welcome. Hello, Jesse. Jesse, what's your favorite AIS tradition? I think I'd say the different display of different cultures at Ethnic Pride Day. Mm, definitely. Ethnic Pride Day is always a highlight of the year. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. Carl, what's your proudest accomplishment from AIS? I'd say completing the IB. Why completing the IB? Um, because I've been in this school for about 11 years, so it's a big accomplishment for me. Oh wow, that's a long period of time. Kyla, what's the most unexpected friendship you formed during high school? Um, it would have to be my friendship with Onella and maybe Kezia. Because the first day I came, I did not expect we'd be here today. So that's definitely one. Mm, friendships are last a lifetime. Thank you so much, Kyla. Okay. And Paul, how are you doing? That's good. Paul, what's the best meal in AIS? Mm, I'll say watch it. Why watch it, Paul? Um, that stuff's just a bomb to my mouth. Man. Oh, really? <laughs> That's interesting. Thank you, Paul. And Rema, how are you doing today? Bye, thank you. You look so, so, so stunning. Thank you. And Rema, what's the funniest thing that ever happened to you in AIS? Oh, I think it's that time when I walked into the glass thinking it was the doorway. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry head. about that. Okay. Thank you, Rama. Welcome. And now, Jalen. Jalen, what's the most valuable skill you've acquired during your time in AIS? Uh, when somebody help you out, you gotta help them out too. Mm, definitely, definitely pays to help other people. Thank you, Jalen. And Abigail, how have you grown as a person since DP1? I will say I learned to leave the little things behind and focus on my main goal, which was getting the diploma. Mm. Hey again. Hi. Okay, one more question. How do you hope to be remembered by your classmates? I hope to be remembered as resourceful, loving, and kind. Love that. Hey, Tate. Hi. Okay, what movie best describes your experience in AIS? High school musical. Typical. Kezia, where are you going to? Okay, one last question. What are your parting words to the class of 2024? Hmm. After 11 long years, I can say we made it! Class of 2024!